Hey, good evening. Uh, just another update on the uh, loco here. I've got the uh, first coat of um, putty in here, and it's dried, and I've sanded it. I'll have to do another one on the front anyway, the front too, but the rear is nice and smooth. Um, then I moved on to the rear winterization hatch, and I started with the, uh, the standard Rapido one, and uh, when you put it where it's supposed to be, right about there, it ends up being too short. Um, so it won't cover the middle of the of the 48 inch fan. Not sure which one this actually works for, but it definitely doesn't work for this locomotive. So that's the uh, the one, the stock Rapido one. It will not cover a 48 inch fan, um, at least and be in the right location because it's supposed to be further forward right next to the exhaust stack. So what I've decided to do um, I was going to use the the um, SW1200RS screen right here um, and that was going to cause me to have to cut this the stock Rapido winterization hatch twice. Instead I'm going to use my old uh, etched metal from China here part 23 screen. Um, this is kind of what it looks like when you buy it. That's part 20. That's a different one. Um, Anyway, this is what I've come up with. So I, I chopped the, the fan housing, the sorry, the grill house, the winterization hatch housing, housing and um, basically elongated it and cut my new piece of screen, which is very similar to this screen. In fact, I think this screen is better than the stock one. Anyway, um, and so this is what I'm gonna do. Now I have to add in some more pieces of styrene just to fill in that gap and then sand it smooth. But this one, when you put it on, it actually matches the prototype quite nicely. So it's supposed to come to the center of the final screen here, right there, and be tucked up against the exhaust stack. So that's perfect. And I managed to get the um, the curve in there, but I'm going to work on that a little bit more. I've been uh, bondoing the inside here just to give it a bit of uh, strength while I shave it back. So that's basically how the hatch is going to go. All right, um, more to follow on the front end there. I still have to figure out how I'm going to get this thing flush with the roof because I'm not going to drill into this. There's too much underneath. I'll, uh, I'll update you on that one and then that'll be pretty much done except for paint. Hey, almost getting there now. Um, just made a couple uh, adjustments and uh, got three coats of uh, putty on there and sanded down. I uh, made myself some tools here to get a nice flat surface. This is my... 120 block and uh, this is my 400 grit block and so I basically just polish back and forth along the roof here in between all the rivets of the plastic so I don't get rid of any details and uh, then I do a little bit of a polish and really I only have to concentrate on the left side and the right side because what's underneath the fan is not that important it's going to be black anyway and then as I said in the previous one use my little tool here and I uh, got that nice little uh, divot taken out of the front of the winterization hatch. And then I managed to extend this by about four or five millimeters and cut a piece of that uh, metal that I was showing you to fit in there. And so this guy's all done now. Um, and that should come out nice when it's all painted black. And that will cover up all that gack there that no one wants to see. Um, the only part that's really going to show is this, and that's nice and smooth. So actually, yeah, I think it's uh, coming down to glue and paint now, um, and then it should be done. And then I'll hand it back, and uh, he can put the rest of the stuff on. Anyway, um, fun little build, and uh, it's going to be a single 48-inch fan GP38 or, dash, or GP9 dash or D GP9 RM. <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's about it for this one. I think I'll next one I might just show you the finished paint. Okay. Okay, just one quick quick look just before paint. I wanted to show you the before and after. So this one's my engine. Um, this is the one with the beacons on it. Um, but it had the same roof detail as uh, this one did. So things have been removed. The uh, the two exhaust stacks are gone. The horn's gone, and I've removed the one two 36 inch fans here. 36 inch fans here and uh, that's the old um, winterization hatch so that's basically it's a roof job anyway I wanted to show the before or the before and after and then these are all the parts that are going to be painted so everything's black except for the fan blades are going to be silver 
So again, that's the extended winterization hatch, much different than the other one. Anyway, uh, next time you see it, it'll be painted. Okay, just a quick wrap up on the GP9RM. Um, I did decide to put a rear fan in, um, partially a rear fan anyway. So that's just an Atlas uh, GP38 fan that I snagged. And I just looking through the screen, it's just to give an impression of a fan. It's not necessarily prototypical. Um, did talk to the guy last night and he wants to keep everything separate. So we're just gonna keep sending the pieces and uh, let him put it together. So I'll just show you the roof, how it ended up. Um, again, most of that is not gonna show because it's gonna be covered. And then here's the front. Eh, not as good as I want it to be, but uh, you know, it'll have to do. Um, I talked to him, he's gonna rust it up anyway, so it kind of might actually help the situation. So I'll just put things on here where they're gonna go. And uh, so that's gone on there. And then this fan is gonna go in the center here. And I had to chop it because I did my bracing on the back here. And there's not enough space. So I'll just uh, slide that on. So, I mean, if you're talking HO scale, three foot, you're not going to see anything. It's going to look pretty good, especially with a bit of rust on the top because it's all going to be modeled anyway. Um, 4116 is pretty damn old. I think it's 70 years old. So, yeah, that's the wrap up. Um, I guess it all went well. <laughs> I'm, I'm still not impressed with this part. I, it drives me nuts, but anyway. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching all you guys and uh, you know, enjoy your sunny weather.